And with this pause for the consideration of artistic license over, we return now to more analysis of the Apollo mission images and shadow inconsistencies. Resuming with Apollo 14, here's another one of those shots of an astronaut descending the ladder. The shadow side of the LEM has been filled with light in the same way as that of the Apollo 11 LEM during Aldrin's exit. Is this for real, or is this being simulated on a film set? Yes. All kinds of freebies in today's simulation. Roger, we got the boys in the back room working overtime. This terrain where these Apollo 15 astronauts are standing is virtually flat. Then, note that the shadow here is somewhat similar in length to the astronaut's height. But, as we all know... Shadows really make a difference up here. Yes, they certainly do. So as we move to this next scene, during the same mission, on similar terrain, the shadow length should not be any different to the previous shot. Okay. However, we can see that the astronaut's shadow length is now considerably longer than his equivalent height. Such anomalies, in our view, are once again due to the presence of a large artificial light source that is not always positioned at the same height. We have found irrefutable evidence of just such a large light source in some of these images. Whether inadvertently or intentionally, we can see evidence of a large source mirrored in the astronaut's gold outer visors. This is how an artificial superlight might have been assembled, comprising a large number of individual light panels creating a single ultra-powerful source and generating one shadow, not unlike the makeup of stadium lights, only very, very much larger. Remember the Shea Stadium in New York had powerful lighting back in the 1960s? Here you can see a very large reflection of a large superlight in a convex gold helmet visor. It is still large despite the fact that the camera is some distance away. Now a convex, that is an outwardly curved surface, always considerably reduces the size of whatever is being reflected. If this large bright reflection were the sun, given its distance from the subject, it would be barely visible when reflected in a visor, nothing more than a tiny pinprick of light. Yet in many cases, these convex visors are reflecting a very large light, which indicates the use of a huge artificial light source. Let's compare these images depicting the large light reflections with this picture of a space shuttle astronaut during an EVA. The space shuttle operates at a distance a mere few hundred miles above the Earth. Although this photo was taken close up, we can see the sun reflected in the visor is nothing more than a pin source of light. And another example, this is an EVA during a Gemini mission. We can only conclude that the large reflections in these Apollo images really are telltale evidence that artificial superlights were used to illuminate these alleged lunar scenes.